Hi friends, we are going to do our phonics dictation. This paper, write your name and the date. So I'm going to say what I want you to write, and I want you to write it before I show you. Then use what I wrote to check and see if you got it right. So first you try, then check it. Then you can pause and fix it if you need to fix it, and then press play. So first one on the rectangle row is Q-U. Q-U says qua. Write it and check it. If you need more time to write it before you check it, just pause and press play. Next, Y says Y. Yeah. Y. Yeah. Write it and check it. Now we're going to work on our vowel sounds. Remember that the vowel sounds in English are different than the vowel sounds in Spanish. So the first one is ah. Write the vowel that says ah. Ah. Write it. Then check it. Did you write a? The next one is the vowel that says eh. Eh. Write it. And check. Did you write e? And let's make sure that we're writing very neatly using the lines that help us write so we can also improve our handwriting. Next one is the vowel that says I. 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 Did you write I? Good job. And we're going with the one that says ah. Ah. It's good if you say it while you write it. And the next one is uh. Uh. Write the vowel that says uh. Did you write you? Good. And the next one is B. B. Make sure you write it correctly. Otherwise, it's a wrong answer because a backwards one is a D. So you should be writing B because a backwards B is a D and that's a wrong answer. So we're going to go into our new reading rules. I want you to write the k sound at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. Remember, it takes two letters to make that sound at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. Did you remember? Yeah, CK. And then we need to do our floss rule letters. Remember the floss rule? Double F's, double L's, double S's, and double Z's at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. Let's start with f. Write f at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. Did you write F? Yeah, F, F. Yeah, good job. Ooh, at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. Ooh. Did you write double L's? Oh, I think you're rocking. And how about at the end of a short vowel word or syllable, like in mass. Did you write SS? Good job. And how about 
we are going to write the last sound in a word that we hear. The first word I want you to write the last sound of is buzz. Buzz. Remember that Z is part of the floss rule. So Z at the end of buzz is spelled Z Z. And how about the word chill? Chill. How do I spell ooh at the end of a short vowel word or syllable? Did you remember? L L. How about pass? Pass. How do you spell at the end of a short vowel word or syllable? Did you write s? How about stuff? Stuff. How do you write at the end of a short vowel word or syllable? Two Fs. Very good. We're going to start off our star words with some easy words, and then we'll make it harder. All right. The first one is lid. You're going to want to finger tap that. You can do it on your hands or your desk or your table or your paper. O I D lid. So first you write the O, then you write the I, then you write the D. O I D. Write it. Is this what you wrote? If you did, give yourself a thumbs up. Lid. Your next word, star two, is top. T -op. Top. First write the t, then the a, then the p, top. Next, let's do man. Mm, a, oh, mm, a, mm, mm, a, mm. Write the mm. A, mm. Is this what you wrote? Good job. One more word over here. Rug. R uh g rug. R uh g rug. Now we're gonna write our new spelling rules that we're working on. The first one is in a short vowel word or syllable, k is spelled CK at the end. At the end of a short vowel word or syllable, is spelled FF. At the end of a short vowel word or syllable, O is spelled L L, and we're just going to put this below. So there's no more spaces at the bottom, but we're going to go ahead and write two more spellings because we have so many new spellings this week. We're just getting smarter and smarter. So z at the end of a short vowel word or syllable is spelled z. z. And now we have at the end of a short vowel word or syllable is spelled S S. Next page of our dictation. Oops, my marker went through a little bit. We are going to write some words that follow these rules. We're going to start with the CK rule, right? CK up here. 
And remember that these words will all contain CK. Let's start with neck. N -e -k. Neck. Write the N. E Neck. Good job. Word number two. Pick. P -ick. Pick. P -ick. Pick. Next word. Tuck. T -uck. Tuck. T -uck. Tuck. And the last one, luck. 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 Good. Now, instead of sight words, this time we're going to write floss rule words. Remember that floss rule is F, F, L, L, S, S, and Z, Z at the end of a short vowel word or syllable. So each of these words is going to have one of these spellings. Got it? First word is fizz. 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 Did you remember ZZ? Good job. Next word, pass. P -ass. Pass. Write the and the a ah, and the s pass and sill like a window sill s e o sill s e o sill and huff huff uh, huff A uh, huff. One more. No, we'll stop there. We're not going to do this part. And we're going to do our sentence. And our sentence is My cat will hiss. My cat will hiss. My. M Y my don't forget the capital letter because we always start each sentence with a capital letter. My cat will hiss. So put your four words. Cat k at cat k at cat will w. I, oh, don't forget the floss rule. Will hiss. I, s, hiss. I, s, hiss. Good job. All right. I hope you got smarter from this video. I hope you worked hard. Can't wait to see your work next week. Bye.